Hello, this is Shane Ross with a quick tutorial on how to import footage from a Panasonic P2 card into Final Cut Pro. Now the first thing I need to mention are your system requirements. You need to have running Mac OS version 10.4.3, at least 10.4.3. You need to have QuickTime 7.0.3 or later. You also need to have Final Cut Pro 5.0.4. You can't have 5.0.3 or 5.0.2 as they will not work. It must be 5.0.4. You will also need to mount the card onto your desktop. You'll need a bit uh, a driver, a, a P2 driver from Panasonic. Now I have linked to that driver on the uh, intro to this uh, intro to this tutorial. So you'll need to get that first to be able to mount to this card onto your desktop. Now. The card will appear as no name because that's just what it does on the uh, on a PC, which is what it works best with. It will actually mount with a name. But what you need to do is to open up this, and inside here you will see a contents folder and a lastclip.txt folder. Now both of these both of these files here are extremely important. You cannot import the footage without this little thing right here, the last clip.txt. If you ha do not have this, you will not be able to import the footage. Inside the contents folder, you, it has the audio MXFs, which you'll see as 000102. It has three channels, has four channels, four channels. And oops, and you have video, and you'll have an icon. The icon, I'll show you what that is later. The icon, this is what appears in the import window. It shows you a visual representation of the clip. Okay, you'll need both of these. And what the first thing you need to do is you need to take it off of this P2 card and onto a backup drive. Because you're not going, it's not wise to just keep, let me just do this right now while we're talking about it. I need, oops, so what I need to do first, go into the portable drive. In here, make a new folder, shift apple n. Title this folder like P2, and it's the first card, and it's uh, 001, first card, and it's from the B camera. So we put B, because I have a B and a C camera. And you 001 is it's the first card. Just I like to do that because it's a nice labeling system I've gotten into with tapes. Okay, what you need to do is you need to copy these fold, this contents all the way over to this. Both of them, again, very important. <clears throat> Now, I forgot what I was going to talk about. Um, yes, you, you're copying this footage over, and uh, you need to have all that. Oh, that's what it is, backup. You need to have a backup. You can't just, I mean, you can just import the contents, convert it into Final Cut Pro, and then back up that footage, but really that's, that's not advisable. Um, this would be your master tape, the contents and lastclip.txt. This would be your master tape. So what you'd want to do is it, you, when you take it from your P2 card and have a backup drive that you import this footage to and you stick on a shelf. This, in essence right here, is your tape. So you take this and you put it on a shelf. Then, of course, you have your media drive. When you convert the footage from the contents, when you convert the footage from this to QuickTimes, you're going to be putting on that, and that's what you're going to be working with. And then this, of course, you can delete, but this you need. I mean, when you're done, you delete this, but this you need to keep. All right, it's copied over, and it's inside that folder. <clears throat> All right, let's go into Final Cut Pro. Okay, inside Final Cut Pro. Let me get rid of this, because I just did that. Okay, inside Final Cut Pro, you need to make a new bin. Bin. And let's label it the same name as we had before. Oh, look, the police are after somebody. P2001B. I gotta close my door. Uh, okay, so that's the same name. And what you should also do is either control click or option click on it, or pardon me, right click, control click or right click on it to get the option set logging bin. This way, whatever Im footage you import from that card will immediately just go right into that bin. Okay, so we're ready to import the footage. We go to File, Import, Panasonic P2, and you get this import window. Now again, the real name, I want to name it the same thing as a card, P, P2, 001, B. And I tell it where to go, where to find this footage. 
it's just going to be on my portable drive on the P2001B card. Now I did click desktop and then go portable drive P2. Just, you don't click on the contents, just click on the folder that contains the contents. Click open. And there, there's the thumbnail. Those are the BMPs that you saw. And then you'll see you know, your footage. And this numbering system isn't completely random, but it's pretty random. Um, the first number, 001, of course, is the first clip that appears on there. The media, there's the time code. See, the time codes keep increasing. And so 0001, 0002, 0003. And then a couple of random numbers, D3, XK. Now, I've spoken to Panasonic, and they have assured me that this numbering system is rather unique for each camera. So say you ran 40 cameras simultaneously for two years, you will not get the same number twice. So it's a pretty unique number. Okay, let's just take one clip. Let me take this one right here. Let's import that. So what you do is highlight that. You can highlight them all. You can import all just by clicking import all. But I'm just going to do one for this example here. So I hit import. And what it's going to do is it's going to convert it. Boom. That's simple. And there it is inside our logging bin. Double click on it. Come over here. And there we go. Nice little sunset shot. So that's how simple it is to import footage from a P2 card into Final Cut Pro. You just need to make sure that you follow several steps and you have all the correct versions of the software because this is a you know cutting edge technology and you need to do everything that is required. Alrighty, uh, thank you very much for listening to this tutorial. I'll have some more in the future. Peace out.